This is the simplest way to fetch data in Next.js without any additional library and without the API directory. So we are going to use the modern approach, server actions. What we have here is a fresh copy of Next.js and what are we going to do is to fetch the data from this dummy API and display it here on our index page. So now I'm going to create a new directory in our root and I'm going to call it lib. You can basically call it whatever you want. It can be server or actions. You just need to be aware that here you're storing all of your server functions. And inside of that directory, I'm going to create a new file and call it movies.ts. And in this file, this is the important part. We need to put use server and this is how our movies.ts file knows that it is going to be executed only on this server. And how I usually write all the functions is in some CRUD way. So I create, uh, create, read, update and delete. And here we are going to create a new function and we are going to call it get. So I'm going to create an array function and I'm going to export it from our movies.ts file and that one is going to be an async function. And the reason why it needs to be a sync is because we need to fetch this data inside of that function. So I'm going to copy this URL from our dummy API and I'm going to create a new data constant and await for fetching of that data from our dummy API. And I'm going to return the data in JSON format like this. And now we can already call this server action from our page. So here I'm going to create a new constant and call it movies. And I'm going to wait get from lib slash movies and make sure to have a sync on your page. And now we can display our data in this div here. So I'm going through movies, I'm mapping and for each movie, I'm going to display a paragraph and our key is going to be movie.id and here we are going to display our movie.movie I think let's check out here on yes it's movie.movie .movie. we have rating and bunch of stuff so now when I save we are displaying all of our movies from the dummy API and you can see how easy it is to fetch data using server actions we just need a couple more of improvements here. So this one is any type here. We are going to create a new interface. We are going to call it movie and we need our movie, which is a string and also ID, which is also a string. And we are just going to say here that we are returning a promise. And inside of that promise, it's an array of movies. So now we shouldn't have any more. Yeah. So now this movie is type of movie. And another thing that we could add is here, try catch in case something happens that here we catch that error and we can just throw it like this. Hope you enjoyed warriors for more content like this. Join the mighty horde.